Let's start out with what an internship is, shall we? So, according to the National Society of Experiential Education, an internship is identified as a carefully monitored work or voluntary experience in which an individual has intentional learning goals and reflects actively on what he or she is learning throughout the experience. It's where higher degree education meets the real world to provide us, as students, the transition from university to the workforce with comfort, ensuring the skills we have developed throughout our studies are pushed, ensuring us as designers are more diligent and advanced. Now I'm going to introduce you to Amelia, a hypothetical character. Amelia is an interior design graduate from QUT. She is a go out and grab them by the horns kind of girl. And within her studies at QUT, nearing the end, she wants to gain the experience of what working within the industry was about. Leading her to discussing some tips and tricks with her lecturer of landing an internship, she was told that the university would not provide her with an internship and that she was to go out and approach industry professionals by herself. Baffled by the news that the university would not provide their students with work experience, Amelia then sent out her resume to many design firms, where she then landed an unpaid six-month internship with a role available after if she was a right candidate. Amelia then heard about the Work Integrated Learning Program, one of QT's only programs that offer credit for the creative industry students, internships as subjects. WIL aid in developing creatives like Amelia through specialised practice-based learning with 100 hours of placement within her current position at an interior design firm. She then applied for the program. Now, post-graduation, Amelia has landed herself a graduate position in a new firm and a new role that requires her skills acquired from university and previous experience in the industry. There is an audible level of benefits Amelia received from work placement and as all would we all. We would receive real world experiences, being able to put theories learned into practice, being able to work effectively within a team environment, being able to understand the commercial realities that relate to running a business, interact with clients and real varying requirements and demands. With these benefits so valuable, why are we not given the opportunity to experience these within our degree with the assistance by the university? There is emerging evidence that students like Amelia who reach out to industry professionals and practices are more beneficial in finding a job post-graduation, leading them to a more successful and satisfying career than those who haven't reached out. However, QUT won't mandate this pressing issue within the Bachelor of Interior Design and other creative industry faculties by providing their students practical help of finding suitable work experience. Fair enough, QUT have implemented WIL, but is this enough? In comparison to other faculties within the university, such as nursing, educators, science and law students, what differentiates their importance of setting them up on the right path to a successful career than those studying in the creative industries faculty? More importantly, us studying the Bachelor of Interior Design. Let's investigate nursing students specifically. Throughout their three-year degree, they receive over three weeks of pre-planned placement by the university and in their first year. Second year, seven weeks and 11 weeks in their final year of study with each placement being within a different hospital and practice as well as practicing in different wards. Imagine if we, interior design students, were given the opportunity to work within different firms ranging from commercial, health and or retail design each year of our study. Would we not have a form of experience behind us that is reputable and would ease a transition from study to a graduate working in industry? While as the benefits are clear in the example of nursing, it should not diminish the right of creative industry students, specifically the Bachelor of Interior Design, of being offered the same experience. So, I'll leave it as this. QUT, are you really setting us up for the real world?